video in my vlogging chair, but as you can see, I'm sat on the floor. I started over there, um, well I didn't start, I just sat there and I thought, I can't get everything out. I haven't even introduced this video. Welcome back, today I'm going to be giving you my gig essentials. Um, getting gig ready, showing you guys my essentials for going back to gigs. Um, obviously, uh, so I just thought it'd be easy for me to get everything out rather than try and balance it on my knee. Obviously, you've got the normal things, the costumes, the makeup, things like that. These are little extra tips that I have picked up from my gigging days um, that I take every single time I go on a gig with me. So, first of all, I'm, I'm just going to delve in and start with my best, best tip. And I will not go on a gig without these, um, unless it's winter, in which case I wear, oh, so let me just get them out, sliders! Number one essential, sliders. I absolutely love wearing sliders on a gig, mostly because when we get there, we're unpacking, moving things around, and then we'll have like a rehearsal, or we'll just go through some things, or you just want to be comfy getting ready. These are so good. There's so many times right at the beginning when I was gigging where I'd wear trainers, um, and I just want to take them off and dance around, and you'd have to undo all your laces, and then everyone would be like, right, we're off for food, and I'd be like, wait! just doing up my shoelaces waiting like making them wait for me so just having these to literally chuck on the side do a dance do a bit of rehearsal and then just slide them on and you're on your way i literally love them so much and um, one thing though i would get them from primark because as you can see once you've been dancing on stages um and whatever floor you're on it's mostly dirty so you do get dirty feet and then your sliders get dirty um that's the only thing. Yes, I could practice in trainers, but um, yeah, I just prefer dancing around in bare feet. So sliders are an absolute must for me. Another one, right, well, let's just start from the top now. Cushion! This is also such a good tip, especially if you're going on long journeys. Obviously not if you're driving. Um, this was my gig cushion. Um, I've had a couple of different ones that I've used, but this was in my car and it's now been promoted to the vlogging chair. Um, so I'm gonna have to use a different one of my cushions for my gigs. But it is such a dream when you get in a car and it's maybe sometimes 12 o'clock when you've packed away and you're like, against the window of a car. It makes such a difference trying to get comfy with a pillow than anything else, like that, that nothing, sorry. So just like you can imagine it on a window with your head going blah, blah, blah. Um, literally put a cushion there and it's so comfy and you're instantly so much more comfy. You can fall asleep if you want to more easily. So I definitely would suggest a cushion. Um, not a pillow, they're too big. Little cushion, nice and easy. This again, I think was from Primark ages ago. Um, but I could be wrong. But anyway, a cushion, definitely, definitely an essential if you're going on a long journey. I, guys, I would not take this if I was halfway down, half an hour down the road. Um, long journeys, the cushion is essential. To go with that, yes, I just took it off the vlogging chair, but it's a nice blanket. This one is so soft. This was from Aldi. If you've watched my um, room reveal, you'll know that, my studio reveal. Um, but blanket, again, so nice to just cozy up. I have two options here. Option number one, blanket and hoodie. Another essential. Um, because it gets a bit chilly, especially in the evening, and like everyone's always different temperatures and stuff. So if someone wants like the cold air on in the car, then if you're a bit chilly, chuck on your hoodie, nice and comfy. Sometimes wear it on the way there, but mostly just on the way back as soon as we've finished a gig. Most of these things are like for the end of the gig when you're getting back in the car. But hoodie on, nice and comfy, blanket round you, oh, pillow on the side, and you're just in comfort world, ready to go home. Um, and luckily, we get driven to quite a lot of the gigs if they're a bit further away, so I can do that. Um, Obviously, if you're driving there, this video is kind of irrelevant. But anyway, on the way back, this is how I would be. Or forget the blanket, forget the hoodie, and I take a dressing gown. And I don't actually have it here right now, um, but I have this like pink Adidas 
dressing gown that I took on and that's like quite warm as well which is why I don't need the blanket um just with the hoodie another tip take one that you're not too bothered about this is you guessed it guys Primark um because if you're helping unload the vans and carrying all the gear like they get mucky when everything's being chucked around so you'll have like black marks on you I mean doesn't look too bad but yeah you just don't want to be wearing your nice stuff if you're carrying gear around that's been on like studio floors and stuff so that is another little tip okay what's in the bag next oh, okay another piece of clothing oh will it come out shorts i always pack a little pair of shorts um again primark even if um yeah i, I always take primark stuff one it gets covered in tan Two, it gets covered in marks from whatever, and three, you can just chuck it back and not really be bothered about it. So, yeah, I um, always take Primark stuff. Shorts, um, because when you get to a gig, you've set up, you literally get so warm. I, I'm not like a warm-blooded person. Is that the right saying? I'm always warm, most of the time warm. So, I just, as soon as we've got there, get all the stuff out, you're carrying it heavy stuff, you have to be quite quick sometimes to get it all set up ready before like guests start arriving and things and then it gets so warm I'm like I can't wear these leggings that I've travelled in, all this tracky, whatever's comfy, always comfort comes first on gig days, well any day really, um, but just chuck a pair of shorts on to get ready um, and then you're not getting all hot and bothered while you're getting ready. So shorts, definitely. Um, and again, after we finish the gigs, wow, are you warm. There is no way after a gig, I would never wear jeans to a gig anyway, way too uncomfy. Um, after a gig though, I would not be, be blah, 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 I would not be putting trackies or leggings back on. No way, way too warm for that. All the lights, all the energy, like so hot. So I just chuck the shorts on to um, pack up and then sometimes stain them till we like stop at the first service station because I'm still that warm. Or just, yeah, chuck the trackies on or whatever I came on before we get back in the car. Next up, um, okay, let's go food. Snacks, absolute essential. Um, this. This is just the chocolate that we have in the house, left over from Easter. Um, snacks, definitely essential on journeys. I feel like on a gig day, well, you eat more because you're like using all the energy, but I feel like I just snack all through the journey. Whereas if I was at home, I wouldn't be snacking like that. That's a lie, maybe I would. But no, I wouldn't be snacking like that that much, but because you're on a journey, I don't know, you just need nibbles. I think it's boredom. Um, not that journeys are boring. I love, I was singing in the car and our chats and everything but yeah always take a snack and while we talk about food I would always I did not prepare a meal just to show you guys but I would always 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 take a meal that's probably one of my best tips if you're new giggers once or twice I feel like I did it twice and I was so angry that I did it twice I didn't take any food there was loads of traffic or something we got there late it took ages to set up we didn't have time to get any food we literally had to get ready and go on stage and oh my gosh I've never been that hungry in my life I felt really faint and really ill and I don't really like McDonald's and we went to the service station after we'd finished the gig I was feeling really really sick just like exhausted because I hadn't eaten and done a full show and uh, I had a McDonald's I don't even know I had some chips or something straight away when I was eating the chips I was like oh my gosh I feel so much better and it literally was just from food and I knew I was so hungry, but we did not have time to go to a shop. And if you've been driven, if there's no shop nearby to go and eat, or there's no restaurant, you're not in a hotel, they don't do food, things like that, you and you can't walk to a shop, like, what are you supposed to do? You can't order a takeaway when you're literally going on stage in two seconds. Well, I suppose I could have done. Anyway, anyway, I would just always take food. So sometimes I have a hot meal at lunch, and then... If it's like in the evening, the gig, I can take a sandwich or I just buy like pasta pots, sandwiches, things like that from um, service stations or like a supermarket before I go so that I know I have food and a good a lot, lot of food, a good amount stashed in my bag ready so that if we don't get a chance to go and get some food um, or stop at a shop or anything, then I can just eat what's in my bag and have enough energy to do a show. Um, water, obviously that goes without saying, but sometimes again you can't get water, um, especially now in Covid, definitely won't be getting water um, in the dressing rooms or anything, so 
definitely take a water bottle with you. Fill it up as well before you go because sometimes there's nowhere to, most times there's nowhere to fill your water bottle. You have to like go find some staff and be like, excuse me, can you fill this up? So definitely fill your water bottle to take with you. Um, next up, hair and makeup. It goes without saying, but one of my biggest tips, a mirror, you absolutely need to take a mirror. We all have these mirrors in the um, Litter Mix and Spice Girls, it's quite funny. Everyone's got these three pound Primark, I think it's still got it on. Three pound fifty to Primark. They stand up so they're so handy because you can just put them on your desk wherever you are. If we're in hotels and stuff, normally we're just like in a function room or in a meeting room. So you have no mirror, you don't want to be taking everything to the bathroom where everyone else is, all the guests sometimes are sharing the bathrooms. Um, so yeah, we just run there and run back so you don't want to be taking that so definitely handy to take a mirror with you one that stands up preferably i'm going to put it there in case the sun goes on it um makeup bag i thought i'd just bring this down because i got this um for everyday life and also gigs it will be so handy i don't know whether i've used it on gigs it's been so long i can't even remember whether i bought it after or before gigs but a makeup bag that looks like this you just undo it and you can just, this was from Amazon, guys. I don't know what link it was or where it was, where exactly, but it was from Amazon. It just undoes like that. Everything's out on your desk. You use your makeup, you finish your gig, and you go like this, and it's packed away. It is that quick. Like, the last thing you want to be doing after you're tired from the gig is packing away all your makeup in a bag collecting all your stuff you literally like you've got all the gear to pack away and get in the vans in the cars so you just want to that is so handy do that up ta -da, your makeup's ready to go that is a great tip and then also the last thing in my bag is they're everywhere because i don't have a container yet or oh, i've lost it i did have a little thing there on but i've lost it all hair clips definitely 100 percent take lots of hair clips this is um actually for only well not only but mainly when you're wearing a wig especially if you have long hair like me i plait it and then i put up put it up with clips and like fully make sure those plaits are up out of the way and like stuck on my head then put the wig on and grip it down especially if i'm doing jesse because that we do like head banging and I just want to like not even think that I've got a wig on my head I want it to feel so secure so I can fully go for the show there was one gig I remember when I don't think I took any hair clips and you feel really bad being like can I borrow a hair clip like that won't be loud anymore but can I borrow some hair clips and everyone's like these are like gold dust I'm not giving you my hair clips obviously everyone always does but um yeah they're like gold dust and you want to just feel there was one gig yeah that I had the not many clips in and I was like dancing like I don't want to move my head because my wig will fall off um so definitely take loads of hair grips and um, if I'm doing a gig where I have my normal hair um Jessie I would curl it and then my normal gigs I've actually done some gig hairstyles so I'll pop them here for you um but I don't normally grip it I just put a bobble in um you can have a look there but if you're wearing a wig, definitely take some hair clips. And then just one more little thing. These little hair bubbles are so handy for just tying, well, actually tying up if you're having half up, half down or something. So you can't see them. They're really secure. And then for plaits as well to put up it under the wig because they're not like big bubbles. So you can't see them blobbing out. They're just are nice and small. And I'm dropping all the clips. So I'm going to put them back in there. One last thing which is kind of obvious, but it is the actual bag, which is seen better days, let's be fair. Um, I love this so much. I actually can't believe that before I got this bag, I don't know whether I got this bag before I started gigging. I feel like I must have done. But before that bag, I would take everything everywhere. Actually, I think I got it after that. I would take things around in just plastic bags, literally like a Tesco bag with all my outfits in and all my things um so this bag has been a lifesaver tom bought it for me for christmas one year or my birthday one year and it's so good i would 100 percent recommend a big like squishy bag 
Um, occasionally when we go away for like a couple of nights or take a suitcase, but I've literally done that a few times. Um, the rest of the time is this squishy bag. Main reason being, when you're in a car or a van with loads of people, don't know when we'll be allowed to do that, but anyway, that's the point. When you are in a van with loads of people, you want your bag with you most of the time, unless you like take out your snacks and things you want for the journey, but, um, oops. but I squish it down by my feet. So if you had a suitcase, it would literally have to go in the boot. And there's so much gear in the boot, and obviously everyone has a big bag of all their stuff. Maybe not everyone brings a full blanket pillow, but um, everyone brings all their stuff. So you want to be able to put it where you are um, or just not be annoying by like not having much space in the boot and being like, ta I've got a full big suitcase you have to now try and squish it in. Because um, it normally is a squeeze so that we can take as little vehicles as possible. So big squishy bag is so handy to have all your stuff in with near you that you can squish down and uh, yeah, just takes up less space really. One more thing I've just spotted that I had, I didn't put it in the bag because I always wear it on my wrist most of the time. Anyway, if it's not in my hair and a bun on my head, is a springy bobble um, or just any bobble just to tie up your hair after a gig when you're so warm, like I said, it's literally off stage, costumes on, shorts on, hair up, let's get packed away as fast as possible. So yeah, that is definitely another essential from me and in fact that is my last essential so there are all my things that i will be packing back into that bag maybe i'll just do it now getting ready for the gig i'm joking bringing it on faster no um fingers crossed i will be packing this bag soon properly to go on a proper gig but um yeah i hope you found that a bit insightful a bit useful or just interesting if you're a bit nosy like me and um also i'm not gonna lie i might be using this video to remember what to pack when we actually have to do a gig <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys and oh look the sun's going in so end of the video i will see you next time thank you for watching bye